if you do, if you had your own zoo, would you bounce on a bear, let a giraffe brush your hair, have an elephant pick out your underwear? Sorry, Gus. I didn't see you. Must have had my head in the clouds. In the sun is more like it. Could you maybe move, huh? Hmph. Hey, Bubble Trunks. Keep a lid on the happiness, will you? Don't you like bubbles, Gus? <laughs> Let's get out of here! Oh. <laughs> hey, sleepyhead, wake up! <laughs> what? <laughs> Down here, you know, where gators can't sleep. Hint, hint. Right, I have no trouble sleeping here. Tell me about it. You sound like you swallowed a chainsaw. Try to be more considerate, will you? <sighs> Thanks, Samuel. What's the matter, Jenny? You might want to avoid Gus today. He's in an extra bad mood. We burst our bubbles. And this morning, that alligator had the gall to call me Humpy Harry. <laughs> Sorry, Samuel, but I'm sure Gus wasn't trying to be mean. That's just the way he is. Hey, move the talk show inside, would you? Hmm, maybe it's time I had a little chat with him. What would you do? Hi, Dad. Hi there, sweetie. How would you like to help me make banana cream pies for my lodge fundraiser? Sounds yummy, Dad, but I have to. Tell enough of these babies that we can buy new hats. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I'd like to help you, but I have a doctor's appointment. Well, I don't remember making an appointment for you. That's because I'm the doctor. <laughs> Dr. Willa, alligator therapist. <gasps> and I'm late for my 3.30. Guess <sighs> I'm baking solo then. Well? You. So, tell me, Gus. What do you think is making you so disagreeable? I am not disagreeable. Well, sometimes you are. No, I'm not. You're disagreeing right now. Yeah, well, I disagree. I'm going to show you a bunch of blobs, and I want you to tell me what you think they look like. Why? What does this look like to you? A bunny. Okay, good. And this one? Another bunny. And this one? More bunnies. Mmm, tasty, mouth-watery, yummy bunnies. Gus, these blobs can't all look like bunnies. Well, I disagree. And by the way, Doc, this couch is too lumpy. <gasps> hmm, how am I ever going to...
trying to understand what makes Gus such a Grumpasaurus. Maybe you have to see the world through his eyes. <gasps> That's it, Jenny. I'm way too high above the ground to understand Gus's point of view. It's time for Dr. Willa to go Gator. Let's see here. I need chopped bananas. <laughs> Gus, you are always underfoot. Sorry, Dad, but it's not Gus. It's me. Willa? Uh-huh. I borrowed Dooley's old Halloween costume. Oh, well, that makes sense. <coughs> no, it doesn't. Why? I'm trying to see things the way Gus does. <coughs> <laughs> hey, new guy, quit hogging the sun. <laughs> it's me, Gus. Willa. Oh, nice outfit. But you're still hogging the sun. Now move over. See? I'm trying to walk a mile in your shoes. Well, feet. So far, I've tripped my dad, bumped my head, and scared away some bunnies. Great. Welcome to my world. <laughs> Bubblegum, bubblegum, in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? One, two, three, four, hey, five. Hey, that looks like fun. We should go play with them. Get a gator clue, will you? Small legs, big tails. Jumping rope is not in our future. Ouch. Oh, all this waddling on the ground sure makes you sore. Belly burn. Get used to it. <laughs> now there's two of them? <laughs> Gee, the mailman's usually really friendly. Yeah, right. That's when you look like you, not like me. Mmm, junk mail. Yummy. Want some? No, thanks. <sighs> What's the matter, honey? You look a little unhappy. Unhappy? Of course I'm unhappy. My neck's sore from looking up at everybody, especially you, Stretch. My goodness, I've never heard that tone from you before. Uh, what tone? That one. You don't sound like Willa. You sound more like Gus. I'm sorry, Jenny. I think I'm starting to understand why Gus is so grumpy. Well, that's a start. I guess. Only now I have to figure out how to cheer him up. Hmm. <gasps> That's it! Laughter's the best medicine, right? So I've heard. Then I'm going to make my grouchy gator laugh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know about this, Doc. Trust me, Gus. Just play along and you'll feel much better. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Knock, knock. Who's there? Banana, knock, knock. Who's there? Banana, knock, knock. All right, who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange, glad I didn't say banana. <laughs> oh, brother. <sighs> I'll be right back. <laughs> so, if we can just make Gus laugh, he'll feel so much better. An ungrumpy Gus? Let's do it. Break! Hey, Edie, when you're done with that, can I eat it?
sorry. Come on, Gus. There's got to be something that'll make you laugh. Willa, could you help me load these pies in the car? Got to get them to my lodge fun, Rick. <laughs> I guess you were right, Dr. Willa. It's good to lighten up once in a while. Well, Gus, you seem especially happy today. <laughs> What exactly is so funny? <laughs> oh no, I've got ticklish teeth. <laughs> Scruffy Sea Bandit was firing at me with all his cannons. They were blasting. Kachu? No, no. Kaboom! Th then what happened? What happened next is a tale of pure bravery, of nail biting action, and of. of. of complete imagination. <laughs> I know, but everybody loves Wallace's stories. That swashbuckling pirate captain, uh. Arr! Yes. Captain Eyepatch! <laughs> yes! Not only did he have one eye, he had one leg, a peg leg. Like this, Wallace? Precisely like that, my dear. Now, where was I? Ah, oh, yes. Captain Eyepatch was trying to catch me in his pirate ship. But a storm was heading my way. Oh, no! No one escapes Captain Eyepatch! An eye patch, except for this wily walrus. I cleverly eluded the dastardly villain by leading his ship into the fiercest storm ever seen. Whoa! Whoa! His ship sank, and that was the end of Captain Eyepatch. Glub, 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 glub. Wow, Wallace, I can't believe you did all that neat stuff. That's because he didn't. Pirate ship guard. <gasps> Are you suggesting my adventure didn't happen, sir? I am suggesting it sounds like all your other stories. Like the cowboy outlaws you let into a raging dust storm, or the mutant aliens you let straight into a meteor shower. Huh? Now that you mention it, those stories do kind of sound the same. But that doesn't mean they're not true, right, Wallace? Well, um, see, he made it all up. Just a bunch of phony baloney. Right, Willa? Oh, uh, well, I do think they're great stories, but maybe it's time you tell them the truth, Wallace. Yeah, tell us the whole truth, Wallace. Of course, the whole truth. Yes, I didn't tell you about discovering Captain Eyepatch's treasure map. What? What? A map? To real treasure? Here we go again. It's a humongous treasure with gold and rubies and diamonds and uh, even some pickled herring treats. 
Well, I'd love to borrow a little shiny, sparkly pink something. I have lots and lots of shiny, sparkly somethings. Oh, goody, goody. Let's get it. <gasps> uh, yes, well, as soon as I um, dig the treasure up, because, of course, I buried it. Where? What Seems like Wallace's there? storytelling is getting out of hand. I know, but if I say anything, I'll embarrass him. I buried the treasure right here in Willa's backyard. Oh, really? Then dig it up so we can all see it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, please, can we? How exciting. <laughs> of course I'll dig it up. Uh, tomorrow. I might need a bit of help from Willa to remind me where I hid it. Isn't that so, my dear? Um, sure, Wallace. I'll help you. Thanks for helping me out of this pickle, Willa. Pickle! Don't forget the pickled herring! I won't, but remember, I'm only helping you this once. Worry not, there won't be a twice. Hmm. Spot on for Coco. You really love making everyone happy. That must be why you tell your stories, huh? That and other things. And? And everyone expects a walrus to be important. Wallace, you are very important to all of us. We love your stories, but you don't have to pretend to be something you're not. Perhaps you're right. From now on, only 100% true stories, which is what I said to the Sheik of Shinola on our caravan. Sorry. Hmm. Hi, Dad. Oh, hey, Pumpkin. <laughs> take the trash out for you? Yeah, thanks, Willow. I'm trying to fix Grandma Birdie's clock. Good old Cuckoo won't go back into his clock tower. He's making me cuckoo. <laughs> mm, good idea. Bedtime snack. The pickled herring is for your pirate treasure. <laughs> Come on, let's get this fairy treasure buried. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Time to wake up, Wallace! Rise and shiny! Let's dig up that treasure, mate! <laughs> oh dear, I can't seem to remember where I buried it. <laughs> Just like I thought. There is no pirate and no buried treasure. Treasure map. Ah, so it is. Follow me, everyone. Uh, Wallace, I think the treasure's this way. <laughs> Quite right you are, Willa. Follow me again, everyone. Ah, pirate treasure. I'll believe it when I. <gasps> hey, I hit something. It's a box. A box. What kind of box? A pirate treasure box, like I said. Oh, oh look! Sparklies! <laughs> and there's enough to share with everyone. Right, Wallace? Absolutely. <laughs> oh. uh, I don't know. Kind of hard to believe. Why, there's even a gift for you, Gus. Oh, 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 pickled herring? Next to pickled bunny, pickled herring's my favorite. Thanks, Wallace. And uh, thank you, Pirate Pals, too. So, Wallace really did have buried treasure in the backyard, hmm? Well, I helped. But Wallace's story has a happy ending. From now on, he's telling the truth. Really? Hop aboard. I think you might want to hear something. And there, in the middle of the desert, is where I ran into the Sultan of Bushwa. The Sultan of Bushwa? Who's he? A very powerful ruler who gave me a magical box with a genie in it. Cry! Oh, oh, wow. 
And with a few magical words, the genie will grant your every wish. Repeat after me. <coughs> Oops. Oops. Oops? What kind of magical word is oops? Sounds magical enough to me. <gasps> Can we see the box now? Wallace, remember your promise. Right. Um, unfortunately, I misplaced the magical box. Magical box? We know where it is. You do? Sure. Saw the zookeeper hang it on the wall this morning. I'm afraid you chaps are mistaken. The magical box I'm referring to has a genie inside. Mm-hmm. <coughs> That's the one. Genie kind of looks like a little birdie, right? Well, um, bird-like. <coughs> I'm going to wish for a matching necklace. What was the magic word? Oops. 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 Everyone stop. There is no magic word because that's not a magic box. Sure it is. Wallace said so. Wallace? There's something I need to tell all of you. Watch carefully. The genie will appear. <laughs> Who, are you? Who are you calling Cuckoo? Regrettably, it is I who is Cuckoo, because I made up the genie story. And? And the pirate treasure. Ooh. In fact, all my stories are made up. I knew it. It was Hooey Baloney all along. And you were correct, sir. I'm very sorry, everyone. Tiny, Lewis, I know you're disappointed in me. No, we're not. We're just sad because you're not going to tell us any more stories. Yeah, we love listening to them. Well, gotta admit, they're kind of fun. But none of my stories are true. That's why it's so amazing. How do you make up all those wild adventures? Yeah. You're the best storyteller ever. Well, that's only because I learned from a master. You see, I was best friends with the court jester of Melodica. It all began when the king summoned us to the castle. This thing was working right this morning. Can't imagine what happened with... Huh? <laughs> Thank you.